Have you heard much from state officials or legislators today about what this means for Mizzou? So I've only seen the traffic, uh, uh, you know, on on social media. Because remember, I just got back from Thailand. Okay. <laughs> I, flew, I, I came straight from the airport to here, okay. uh, so I haven't had a chance to talk to many people. But I know that um, you know there have been a number of them that have posted things about uh, congratulating. Uh, Professor Smith on his contributions. Do you think that this will have an impact as the university seeks funding for its major research laboratory? Well, yes. I mean, I, I, you know, as I said in my quote, uh, I think this is an important thing for Mizzou. Of course, it's a, it's a remarkable achievement for Professor Smith, but it reflects on Mizzou, and it also helps all of Missouri, right, is that you have a flagship institution, you have faculty here who are contributing to the entire world, and we want to make sure that we have, that we provide the environment that allows them to be successful. So when we talk about the infrastructure, all of the things that we're trying to do, that's to provide that environment that allows more Nobel Prize winners to be here. And um, athletic coach contracts often include incentives for major achievements, like winning a division or a national championship. Do do professors' salary uh, contracts include incentives for major prizes, such as the Nobel Prize, or should they? We we don't have anything specifically, but I do think we... Uh, we want to celebrate as much as we can in any way we can uh, these types of successes. So yes, I'm in favor of making sure that we do as much as we can for our successful faculty.